Mickey Mouse, one of the most famous fictional characters of all time, led a cultural transformation on American society. The man behind the mouse was none other than Walt Disney. Walt left an impact on America, as well as the rest of the world, that no cartoonist had yet done. The face of children's entertainment was forever changed because of this man. The popularity of Mickey Mouse skyrocketed in American society shortly after his creation in 1928, and today, the ever so familiar mouse is recognized and praised by millions of children across the world. But where does this story begin? When exactly did Mickey and Walt make their debuts in the cartoon industry? To what extent did they catch the attention of America and become icons of children's entertainment? The story begins in Kansas City, Missouri. It was here that the young Walt started his career. Disney Studio was called Newman Laughograms, and it produced cartoons for the Kansas City area. However, money was an issue for the studio, and eventually Newman Laughograms went bankrupt, and Walt had to move on to the next chapter of his life, Hollywood. Walt and his brother Roy began working in Hollywood in a very small studio. The conception of Mickey Mouse actually occurred back in Kansas City, where a mouse living in Walt's first studio inspired the birth of Mickey. Disney brought this inspiration with them to Hollywood and began to make small cartoons for the mouse. The first official animated short with sound that featured Mickey was entitled Steamboat Willie. Walt traveled in New York in hopes of getting Steamboat Willie seen by as many people as possible. With the help of press agent Harry Reichenbach, the cartoon quickly became a success. By the early 1930s, Mickey Mouse was a nationally known character. In 1932, Walt received an Academy Award just for creating the mouse. After the initial success of Mickey Mouse, Walt was looking towards bigger and better things. He wanted to create a full-length animated feature film. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs was this first big film. It was a revolutionary work because it was the first animated film created with Technicolor and it was the most successful motion picture of 1938. The next Disney animated films proved to be just as influential and popular in America. For example, the movie Bambi was actually very controversial because it put hunting in an unfavorable light. In 1943, after the movie's release, State legislatures across the country received protests from those who favored hunting. Disney still wished to do bigger and better things after his first movies were created. His next big idea was to open a theme park influenced by all his characters and movies. The name for this park was Disneyland, and it quickly became a reality. All who come to this happy place, welcome. Disneyland is your land. Here age relives fond memories of the past, and here youth may savor the challenge and promise of the future. Disneyland is dedicated to the ideals, the dreams, and the hard facts that have created America, with the hope that it will be a source of joy and inspiration to all the world. Thank you. The park was opened in 1955, and in less than two years, one million people have visited it. Disney attributed the park's success to the fact that both parents and children could enjoy it. For the rest of his life, Walt kept working on bigger projects, and his legacy lived well beyond his death in 1966. His company experienced continuous, immense successes after his death up until present day. As far as corporate prosperity goes, the Walt Disney Company has been one of the most powerful companies in America's history. In 1995, the company merged with Capital Cities, ABC, which was the second largest corporate merger up until that date. Marvel and ESPN are examples of other huge corporations that Disney has taken over. Numerous other amusement parks were built after Walt passed away. 
In addition to Disney World, which opened in 1971 in Florida, there are now parks in such places as Paris, Tokyo, and Hong Kong. Disney's presence in the world of television has also been just as successful. Disney TV channels are broadcasted in over 160 countries across the globe. Society has also been greatly affected by all things Disney. For example, many children in America, primarily young girls, go through a phase called the Little Princess Syndrome, where they idolize and act as one of their favorite princess characters. Since Disney's princess characters are among the most popular in the world, a great deal of this quote-unquote syndrome can be directly related back to Disney. Things related to Disney can be found in many other places in our world and society. Walt created his own empire of entertainment for all of us to enjoy for many years. He was revolutionary in his methods of entertaining people. His works and company will forever remain trademarks of America's culture. All of the success, profit, and magic that the Walt Disney Company has created in the 20th and 21st centuries can be traced back to this one man. The industries of animated and children's entertainment were greatly adjusted thanks to him. Walt Disney's vision to make a cartoon out of a pesky old mouse in an old studio was definitely a turning point in our history. <laughs>